Hi, I've just released a new version of my Laravel Modules Generator Package. Laravel Module Generator Package allows you to generate a new structure based on an existing folder structure. So let me show you what I mean. So I've got this application, I've installed Laravel Breeze as an example, and it's got Laravel Modules installed, and I've built this module. And all this module does, it's a, it's a simple CRUD based module, so I can add a new book, give it a new text. Submit it and it and goes into the page. I can edit it as you would expect, and you can also delete it. And it's got a little prompt on there. And this has tests to go with it, so make sure everything's working correctly. And if I jump into my, my code, let's go into the actual module itself. So I've got this module called and it's called Books. Uh, within the within like the app directory, we've got a controller, and it's standard controller where we've got the create, store, show, edit, and delete, and update methods, and they've all got tests to go with them. So I'm using pass for the for the testing framework. Uh, so it shows you all the all the tests for the different types of endpoints that we we actually use them, and this text. Well, I'm maybe 20 minutes to, to, to build or maybe less if you're you know, proficient so it doesn't take particularly long to do uh, but if you're going to use the same type of if you're building the same type of modules again and again it's good to have a foundation to build from so what, what my package is essentially does is it allows you to build your own templates and then you'll be able to generate files from that so I will look inside of my stubs folder I've got the I've already published this so I'll go through how to set up in a moment but I've got a module generator folder and I've got three different templates that I can choose from they're all catered for breeze so the breeze blade version and there's an API version a web version and a full which includes both the web and the API version so if I go into the, the full one for instance and I open up the my app folder, we've got an entities folder that will actually get replaced with the models, it will get renamed to models when it actually goes through. So as well, I've got my model in place and I've got the controllers folder. So I've got a controller for the API and for the web version. And these are called module controllers. So the file name is called module. And then within the, within the file itself, well, I've got module placeholders. And this will actually, when this gets converted, this will do a, a mass find and replace and replace all these placeholders with the name of the module that's been used. And then where it's got a model, that will get replaced with the name of the actual model. So what it allows us to do is really template the entire structure of the application and really go through. So if we look at say, the collections for the APIs, Every, every aspect of it has got all these placeholders in place. So when they go ahead and actually build an application or build a module, that all these will all get replaced. So for instance, we'll just close all these files down. And the way I actually go, go and use it is once you've actually installed it, you get a PHP artisan you run module build command. And if I don't give it any options, then it'll ask me the name of the module. So if I say create a module called pages, and then I say which template do I want to use. So I can set from the API only, the web only, sorry, the web and the API, the web only or the API only. So if I just set the first one, so it does both. So that's now create a new module called pages. So if I close it down, so I now can see a module called pages. And if I go into models, it's it's created um, a model called page so that's been set up the namespaces have all been set up and if we look inside the controllers so it's now pages controller and every case every current where i would have to change it manually has all been set up for us and if we look at the test this has all been set up as well uh, so what i need to do is when you first do this if you look at the module list the modules that you generate are disabled by default. So all I need to do is say module enable uh, pages and that will enable that module. Uh, and now if I just run my, my full test suite, that will run through everything. Um, there's a slight problem in the test one. I guess I need to make a slight tweak here in that it should be page, not pages. So my template, I just need to correct that. Uh, so if I come back through, run my test suite again, they're all passing. 
So I've got to test that, that I'm passing for, I've uh, tested all the various page functionality of the pages. And if I come back and go to pages instead of books, I've got a new page set up so I can put any old text in. And say you've got you've got a CRUD module kind of out of the box as it were. But then you're not restricted to just these predefined templates. These are ones I've just set up able to use but what you can do is in the configuration file so module.json you can define your own templates so when you first install this which we'll, I'll, I'll be doing a new project in a moment you publish this config, config file and it publishes these templates but then you can these are the templates that live in your code base so you can change these templates however you want delete them or even add new ones within that section so let's set up a new project and I'll go through the whole process. So I'm just going to create a project called Temp Breeze, and I want to install Breeze, and I'm going to go with a Blade version, and I want to I want to go with Pest. I'm going to go up SQLite for the database, so let that run through. I want that running through in order for. In order for this package to be installed, it does require uh, a Laravel modules package to also be installed. This is a requirement of this package. So all I want to do is make sure I install this package. Well, this I'll just wait for this to complete. Okay, so what I want to do is open up the package into PHP Storm. And then I just want to install, install Laravel modules. So I run that command and then also for things to be configured correctly I'll need to turn on auto loading for the modules from the composer.json file. So, that should, so that's all I need to do for, for this and now I want to install this, um, the generator package. So I'm going to copy that, let that run through. And then I want to publish these the stubs on the config file. So I can copy that over, paste it through, and that will that has been published. So if I look, look inside my config folder, we've now got these the paths for the templates that we're actually going to be using. And then in the stubs folder, under a module generator folder, is where all the templates are that I want to use. So now if I want to use this, I've got an, an alias for artisan called um, a, rather than saying PHP artisan each time. So I want to say module build. Uh, I'm going you know, to go with books as a simple example. And I'm just going to say web only. So that's created the web only um, module. So let's put it into a side of modules folder. And we've got this book, this books module. And it's, it's that easy to go through. So if I look through on the documentation for the package. So as well as providing, as it says here, you can actually provide like the module and the template name in one go. So that these are both optional. So if you don't provide them, then they, they'll be prompted to enter the name and select a template. And the way the actual works, well, we're in the file names, you can name a file, either mo module in uppercase or a capital letter or lowercase and then that will get converted over to the right file name. So in this case, if you create a mo module and you create a module called contacts, then anything where it finds module in the file name will be changed to contacts. And the same it go is true for the file system. So within the, in, within the files themselves, you can put placeholders in. So if you put in brackets module, that will get replaced with the actual name of the module. So if I had contacts, that would say contacts. And we can kind of see this in, in well we can see this in action as we're looking through so if we look into config we've got books but if we look inside a template for a config we've got brackets module so this this allows you to build as many templates as you want and then you're able to mass mass produce those templates as a good good starting point so if i wanted to run out the test for this module as well i could go into each test individually and run these run these tests and that would run through but in this project I've not set the database yet so let's quickly do that so 
So I'm going to run, because I've set to desk you light, when I run migrate, no, it doesn't exist. So I'm going to go ahead and create one. So that's not being migrated. So if I run these tests again. So it says it's not defined. And that's, so all we need to do is, is actually enable the module. So if I go module list. So again, it's disabled. So I'm just going to say enable. And now if I run the test again, now that it's enabled, these tests will actually run and that they're going through. So I can run these individually, but then you also might want to run, you might want to run and um, test and run all your tests. So in order to do that, when using a lot of modules, the test suite doesn't know about those test files that they exist. So all you need to, the simplest way to do it is we go into if we go into the documentation for Laravel modules at laravelmodules.com and go to the testing page, uh, there's this snippet for the, we can just copy and paste this in. And all we're doing here is telling PHP unit or paste to what you're using to where, where to find the actual test files. So it's going to go into the module directory, it's going to find, we've got a wildcard for any module and then it's going to go into, into the testing folders. So now if I run this one, I run, run my test. That's going to run through all of those. Again, I don't actually fix that bug in me in the delete file. So that should be a singular rather than the plural version. But quickly sort out now those tests are being being, being passed through. This so this really helps you build build projects much quicker from a from a common foundation, and you can go a lot deeper than I have done here. So hopefully, you'll find this this package useful.